Everybody, welcome back to the Iron Oak Sawmill. We have been crazy busy around here. I'm gonna look behind me here. We're gonna get started on these ash logs today. We've only got a few hours just getting home from work. Deb had to run out, so I'm flying solo right now, guys. Uh, a monster order of, well, monster for us, but a big old order of red oak. Uh, two by eights, two by tens, two by sixes, two by fours. Wrap that order up. We've got, uh, Oh, what else we got? Let's look back here. Hang on a second. You guys probably seen these in the background on some of the other videos, but right back here we've got these couples of black walnuts here on the top of the stack. All right. They belong to one client. We've got four big red oaks down here on the bottom. You've seen those before. We didn't even get to those yet. And if you're watching the shorts videos and checking us out on Instagram and checking us out on uh, Facebook, you know that we've got some nice size black walnut where we're gonna be working on as well. Come over here, we've got, I don't know if you can see that. Let me get let me get a better angle here. There we go. That should do it. Sun's getting low in the sky, so it's hard to get these angles right. Big black walnut back here, crotch log. I'm gonna single live edge slab that one. Hey, three inches or 12 quarter thick. That's gonna be some big stuff. Same with these two other smaller crotches here in the front. And uh, yeah, so we've been busy. I just realized something, there's bugs out here. It's got so warm. Between the cold weather and the warm rainy days, we're finally getting a few nice days to get out here, not have to deal with mud, not have to deal with cold temperatures and get some milling done. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ash logs here. Anywhere from, tw looks like 12 inch to 20 inch. So we're gonna be kind of busy with that. And that's today's video. Um, all right, one big shout out on, on uh, today's video is going out to Joe Main down at Industrial Cutting Tools. See this cool looking hat he gave me here. He gave us probably six hats, a bunch of t-shirts. And we definitely appreciate that because Joe is an excellent blade supplier for the wood miser. If you called wood miser and can't get blades from there, check Joe out. He should be able to hook you up. He saved us from running out of blades in the past and uh, kept us milling. So if you're running short on your blades, give Joe a call. I'll put some contact information down in the description as well. Uh, and if you have any questions about Joe's business, give Joe a call. All right. Uh, what else we got going on? But we're going to go ahead and get started milling. Who else we want to give a shout out to today? Hopefully in a little bit, you'll get to see Deb. Deb uh, got a gift from one of the folks that we watch all the time, Joe, over at... Uh, Joe's Firewood Videos 2 and Joe's Firewood Videos. Got two channels there. Also on Facebook at Joe's uh, Joe's Premium Firewood. That's it. But Deb got a nice custom-made sweatshirt. It has both uh, the Iron and Oak Sawmill logo on it and Joe's logo on it. Definitely appreciate that, Joe. And uh, hey, Joe over at Ohio Woodburner as well. I did get the steel hat or the Easter Made hat. Thank you very much. I've been looking for Easton made gear. I can't find any. There's nothing on their website. So Andrew Easton, if you're watching this, could use a couple more hats, maybe a t-shirt, a toque. I'll go for that too, because cold days here in uh, in the US, that's for sure. But uh, this is getting long for an intro, so let's get to cutting. Again, the ash wood is going away. The ash tree is going away. And I've got a lot of people trying to save as much as they can. Because it will not be around for many more years. At least not in this region. And I know some other regions it's not as bad. But the emerald ash borer is wiping this out. So, doing our part to save this lumber from extinction, basically. Let's do it.
Trying to keep up with this. <laughs> the LT35 is running real well. gonna fall. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. We got one get away from it.
soon again. Fun soon. And I'm, you know, it's with these resharps too. If you get them four rounds on the resharp and then they're done. on this one on the front one. No big deal. Done. It's done. A little more. These both need a little more. Same deal as the last one. Plant two of them. Set it for six. This one should come up at five. 
But since the clamp doesn't close that far, you use that one board as your spacer. a nice yield out of that one too.
did. All right, as we wrap up the milling here on the first four logs in this order, we have to show this shirt off. Uh, this came from Joe over at Joe's Premium Firewood, like we mentioned before, or I mentioned before. Uh, check him out, Joe's Premium Firewood on you, on uh, Facebook, and Joe's Firewood Videos One, and Joe's Firewood Videos Two. All right, yep. on YouTube. And uh, you got to see this. He uh, custom made this this for Deb. <laughs> she was jazzed when she got it. But check it out. We got the iron and oak sawmill on the shoulder or on the arm here. We've got iron and oak sawmill here on the on the right side. Here on the left, you pick up Joe's Premium Firewood. He's all the way up in Orangeville, Michigan. We watch his channel and his live streams. He does a live stream what every Sunday morning. Yep. Every Sunday morning on YouTube, he does live streams on Facebook as well and videos on Facebook as well. So check him out there and the JPF. With the flames coming off top. What do we got on the back? Oh, there we go. Oh, first edition hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> See that? First edition. And uh, Joe's Premium Firewood. Joe's Premium Firewood.com. He does have a website. Yeah. But so remember, uh, if you're looking for sweatshirts like this, t shirts like this, hats, all kinds of stuff, check out uh, Bill over at Backspin Graphics. We'll leave contact information down in the description. But Thank you, Joe, for that custom sweatshirt yes, for Thank Deb. you, Joe. I love <laughs> it. It's the first chance we've had to wear it outside when we were milling, and uh, it's looking real good. I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. Four of the eight logs done up. We'll probably do the other four in another video. Yes. We got to wrap it up. Sun's dropping it. Wow. Yeah, we got a pretty nice sunset. sunset over the hill. <laughs> Um, sun's dropping over the hill and we've got to get cleaned up here at the mill get a new blade on get it all prepped and ready to go for the for the uh, next time we're out here milling all right guys that'll wrap it up here with these uh the first four of the eight ash logs uh if you guys i know hey my firewood guys out there i know you love making this stuff into firewood it dries quick it you know and it splits easy and it's easy to work with use the tops of the trees guys the straight logs at the bottom i know you guys love them for bundle grade ash but they make great lumber and it's going to be gone. We all know the ash trees are all dying out. Emerald ash borer is taking them out. And so we're doing our part to save as much of this ash lumber as we can. The gentleman who used this is going to be using it, I think, for some more flooring. He did. He has some beautiful pictures of the flooring he did. Uh, maybe I can include some in the video if I can get those from him. But uh, it makes beautiful flooring. It used to be called Poor Man's Oak. Guess what? It's more expensive than oak now <laughs> because it's starting to, it's starting to go away. Uh, but if you get a chance to mill it guys, if you get a chance to use it in your project, please do so and uh, Preserve it for future generations to at least see the wood and get to enjoy it uh, as we are now um, I think that'll about wrap it up. But hey Joe again. Thanks for the shirt uh, the sweatshirt Deb definitely appreciates that. I'm gonna I'm yes, talking for you. What do you think? Yes you? Thank you, Joe. I love it. And thanks for the oh customizing Customize. everything. <laughs> Iron oak sawmill blade. I like it. Uh, and also, and if, this. if you're interested in, in stuff like this, um, check out Bill over at Backspin Graphics. We'll yep. have the contact Thank you, information down in, down in the description as well. Uh, also, down in the description, you'll find a link for the Iron and Oak Sawmill t-shirts. Yes. Uh, believe me, there's a there's t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, um, tank tops. It, Stickers. And a cat in the woods back <laughs> here crying. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but... Um, stickers coffee mugs all kinds of stuff and trust me the colors are not all gray they're not all gray no <laughs> we have there's lots of colors in there i know the front page they show all gray t-shirts all gray sweatshirts go in check out what you like and um look at the colors we we gave a lot of color choices in there so hopefully you guys will like those so if you like what you see here on the channel uh please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to all the folks that have been subscribed to the channel for so long and have been coming back each week we definitely appreciate you we just uh reached a little over twenty-five thousand seven hundred subscribers all the support is amazing um we definitely appreciate it and we're glad to have everybody back here each week if you come and watch us each week and you don't subscribe please consider doing so uh Click the subscribe button. Uh, when a notification bell pops up, hit all. You'll get a notification when we put a video out here on YouTube so you don't miss any of the action here at the Iron Oak Sawmill. Uh, also, like and share. Hit the like button. Share it with some friends around the internet. And uh, have them come over and check, out the, check us out here at the Iron Oak Sawmill. Also, Instagram is iron underscore oak underscore sawmill. And on Facebook, Iron and Oak Sawmill. Uh, you can check out our regular page there. And that's a fun page because we put a lot of what we call customer creations in there. 
where there's uh, the customers send us pictures of what they've made from what they got here at the mill and it's some beautiful stuff in there. Anything from ukulele bodies to uh, guitar bodies to, I don't know, countertops bowls that people have done turning just go check it out under the picture section it's customer creations uh, i think you'll enjoy it so go ahead wrap this up uh if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill how we're handling the sawing uh any of the tools we're using here uh please uh don't hesitate put it down in the comments section be glad to help you out and as always thanks everybody for stopping out and we'll see you at our next time thanks again joe i love it <laughs> <laughs> take care folks <laughs>